Hello everybody. Thanks for stopping by Greg's Bear Reviews today. Let's go look, see what's in the fridge today. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is Azrael. This is a Belgian inspired golden ale from Devil's Backbone. This is a uh, formerly called Gargamel, formerly called Gargamel. So they made this beer before I guess and, uh, and it has renamed it uh, now that they started putting their beers in the bottle. And this has got right on the top here in black. Uh, and you can see it, it's right above the label that says Bottled on June 26, 2012. It's written in black. I'd rather see that in yellow, but it is what it is. Uh, we were up there uh, about a month or so ago and did the tour. And they showed us the machine they were going to use to put these dates on the bottle, and I suggested to them using a yellow ink at the time. So hopefully that'll get a little brighter. But it's right above the label. You ain't got to hunt for it, and I can see it. And it's a uh, it's there where you can see it. So thumbs up for them on that. Uh, got to have them dates on these beers, guys. I'm a firm believer of that, no matter what kind of beer it is. Uh, that was back mine, and they're out of uh, Lexington, Virginia, it's where uh, we went up and took the tour up there. They actually have two different facilities, one over in Nelson County and one there in, in the, a new one that they just built there in, in Lexington. Uh, this is a Belgian Strong Pale Ale coming in at 7.80 ABV, so a little on the stronger side on this one. I have not, I don't think I've had this one. I may have sampled it somewhere, but... I have not had this in the bottle. The rotating schedule, the food pairing for this is got meat is game and salmon. Glass wire, zipper tulip oversized wine glass, and the beer can be sold for extended periods. And I don't see anything else other than it's 31 IBUs on this beer. So it shouldn't be too awful bitter. I don't think there's anything on the label that we need to bring up or say. So Without further ado, I just, just sent one of these off to uh, one of my subs over in Finland. Without today, <clears throat> today being Monday, uh, the, uh, these beer reviews, sometimes I get a little ahead of myself. So this, is, this one was filmed on Monday evening. So I shipped your opener out today. Alright guys. Get it to the glass. Boy, that is a very clear filtered beer. I mean, it looks like a macro lager in the glass. It is very golden. Not much of a head. What it did pour is dissipated. It's just now covering. A lot of bubbles there. Kind of carbonated there. Looks good in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. Well, I'm getting a floral malty. Not so much a roasty malt, but a, a crystal or a Belgian malt. Getting a little bit of a... I also get a little coriander in there too. Got a citrusy smell to it. Oh well, let's see what it tastes like, guys. Cheers, Devil's Backbone. This is a uh, local beer. I like to support them guys. Wow. For 31 IBUs, it's got a bitter back end. Very dry. Wow. Very different. It's got an earthy green green apple kind of 
fruity taste to me. Definitely tell it's a little on the stronger side. I'm not getting a burning alcohol or anything, but kind of get a hint that it's a, it's a little stronger than a 5% beer. Wow. Rather unique beer. I'm going to warm up. It's, uh, it's, it's right out of the fridge. And I actually throw this one in uh, just a little while ago. I throw it in, in the freezer. Uh, the, the wife picked these up at uh, Kroger's down the street here. They had them. And you can't buy one at a time there like I normally do when I buy them up at Ben & Teller. So we bought a whole six pack of these. and I'm glad we did. It tastes uh, really nice for a stronger alcohol beer, which is almost 8%. It's got a nice clean, it don't have a heavy taste. It's got a light taste to it. So it's something you'd want to drink when it's 90 degrees outside. It still has a lighter taste. Not like a heavy stout or a porter's going to leave. It's that heavy on your stomach. This is kind of thin. Yeah, it's kind of tasty. I'm going to have to have to step on this a little bit, see what she thinks of it, and come back and see what the final grade ends up. It looks like an above average to me. You know, it might be a little biased since they're just right up the road here a little bit. So. Uh, we'll come back and see what the final grade ends up, guys. Stick around. Hi, right, guys. Back got just a little left in the glass. Maybe just a little bit more than a little bit. Very dry. I'm giving green apples, citrusy, a little bit of pineapple. Very bitter on the back end. A little more bitter than I like. I don't like that. It's only 31 IBUs. I'm actually surprised it's that bitter on the back end. Definitely a, a, a strong bell to nail. No doubt about that. Follow Chad guys. Definitely is. My personal taste is I like it just a little bit sweeter and not quite as dry as this one is on the back end. The bitterness I can handle. I'm a hop head. I like the bitterness. But it's definitely dry. I mean, it's dry, dry, dry. The reason I drink these is, is to quench my thirst a little bit. And this one didn't quite quench it. It's a little bit too dry for me. And you guys, this is just my opinion. I mean, you may love it. It may be the best thing you've ever had since sliced bread. So don't don't hold everything that I say gospel. I mean, this is just my opinion. And by the time I get to the end of the six pack, I may love it. Like I said, this is the first time I've had it. This is my first impression. And this is what I'm telling you, what, what I'm tasting. This is what I'm feeling off of this beer. And, uh, and I think it's just a little dry on the back end. So with that being said, Great beer, like I said, this is a brand new, uh, it doesn't alias this beer to uh, Gargamel, uh, so th this is leading in like as it's, it's a new beer, so there is no ratings from Rate Beer or uh, Beer Advocate on this, so uh, we're flying off the cuff on this, I have nothing to judge what I'm saying by, this is just what my impression is on this one guys, but like I said, if it changes by the time I get to the, six, the end of the six pack, I, I think it's changed any. I may re-review it, but as of right now, I think it's a little dry on the back end. I like it just a little more sweeter, my taste, uh, for this. And uh, for the bitterness, 31, it tasted it was a little more bitter than that to me on the back end. Well, uh, I enjoyed it, though. I've got five more to look forward to, and I, I intend on drinking them here in the next week or two. I'm not going to sell these very much. Like I said, this beer can be seller, but I don't know what. Maybe I'll put one way back in there. I'll write to I'll write when I put it in there. It's got the date on it, so I shouldn't have to, just in case that little digital writing comes off. And see what it tastes like in a year or so. See if it uh, mellows out any not quite as bitter. That may be what I'll do with one of these. Guys, if you've had this or you see it, pick it up give it a try. Give me some comments back on this and see if you, what you think you're tasting. And let me know what you think, guys. Uh, give me some feedback on this one, because I don't have any feedback to go off on this one, other than what I'm tasting. So, guys, come on back tomorrow. Let's see what we're going to review then. We're going to check the fridge. See you then.